Hi, I'm Trevor Lund of Expectancy Ministries, and today is Ministry Coaching with Rev Trev. And today I want to cover the topic of how to have an effective speaking ministry. <laughs> and this is going to be a, a longer project. You know, there's going to be a lot of things I can add to this because this is really one of the passions I have. And so today I want to cover basically the topic of being prepared. Uh, before I get to that, though, I want to let you know that on RevTreb.com, I've put a forum. And there's a couple of reasons why I have a forum on RevTreb. First of all, I'm getting all kinds of questions from all kinds of people, all like asking all kinds of things. And, and I'm finding that people are asking me questions on different blog posts. And um, that tends to tell me that they want more answers. They, they've got, you know... They haven't had time to look through the site to see what answers I have. And I thought, you know what, let's put up a forum that people can find answers and, and give answers. And more importantly, like, uh, this is a chance for you and your ministry to come and, and answer forum questions with people. And uh, I really love if you can come and do that and, you know, ask questions, answer questions. You're going to get backlinks to your own site. You're going to get backlinks to, to your uh, whatever account you want. It's going to put people uh, in contact with you. And so I want to open that up to everyone who is on this ministry coaching um, whatever <laughs> email list that we have going <laughs> I know it sounds like I got way too many things on the go, and I, I I only do it because I've got systems in place that work well. So anyway, the forum at RevTrev.com, uh, I've just got it set up. Uh, it's one of those things that I don't know if it's if it's going to uh, if I'm going to be overwhelmed with all the comments, all the questions, all the answers. I don't know if there'll be no one that signs up for it. I, I it it doesn't matter. I just really feel it's time for me to do it because it's. Um, you know, I really have it in my heart that that it, together, 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 we have the full knowledge of God. It's not that I have all the answers. <laughs> it's not that I have all the answers. But together, we have a fuller picture of God and, and His answers. And so to go check it out. I've got a, a few of my favorite topics on, uh, a few of the things that I help out. There's a whole prayer list there, and uh, you can go there and check that out. But anyway, let's get on to the topic of uh, being prepared, uh, how to have an effective speaking ministry. you you got to be prepared. Yeah, I have, you, you got to know, I have uh, been a pastor. I've spoken consistently all over the place. I've had lots of different engagements in all kinds of different congregations. I've also sat in a number of congregations. I've also listened to a number of different sermons. You know, I've even walked in a number of times on people who were preaching my books. <laughs> and it's a great compliment, but I got to tell you, when you just simply preach what somebody else has written and it doesn't really ring true with you, we can all tell, especially if you're the author and you come in and you, you see it's not really them. Um, <laughs> Basic principle, if I preach it once and give you credit, after that it's mine. That's the whole thing. And if you preach me once and you give me credit, after that it's yours. But um, here's the thing that I find. Pastors who, basically pastors, 10% of their time is preparing for the sermon and, and giving the sermon. 10%, it's a number that put out there, a number of people, they're, they're Bible vocational, they're, they're, they've got all kinds of work that they've got to get done, they've got all kinds of things they need to do in the church, they've got all kinds of things they need to do in their home, and, and uh, you know, preaching the, the sermon, it, it doesn't come out. Uh, also, itinerant preaching, it's, it's a quite different, because you can put your best effort forward, and you, and you can get the great sermon, but you and, and you can preach the same sermon in multiple locations, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 times. I I've probably have done the same sermon maybe 20 times. And um, listen, when I preach it, it's got to be different every time. It can't be the same sermon. It's got to because there's different people there. There's different needs there. I need to stress different things every time I'm preaching. And and if I'm not, I'm not really doing what I know God wants me to do. Listen, when I talk about being prepared, I know what it is to be 
having a lot of responsibility on your plate. And quite frankly, we've got to do a better job. <laughs> we have got to do a better job. Secondhand revelation is not good enough. You know, if you are not spending that time with God, if you aren't in the very Word of God, listen, it isn't enough just to be in the Word of God. You need to let the Word of God read you. You can't just go into the Bible to get a message. You need to go there to get the answers for yourself. You need to let God teach you through the Word, and, and you need to let that spring up out of you. If you are not in the Word of God, if you if you simply go to other people's sermons, if you go to simply go to other people's books, if you simply go all over the place, search on the internet, get get the quick quick comments, the quick quotes, it, it, it doesn't preach well because it's not the words of life. Listen, let me explain this. Peter said, if anyone speaks, let them speak the very oracles of God. What are the oracles of God? That is the words of God. What are the words of God that Jesus spoke? John, um, I think it's chapter 6, John, Jesus is, is, uh, gets into the whole sermon about, uh, unless you eat my, my flesh is, is real meat and my, my blood is real drink, unless you eat me and drink me, you have no part of me. And, and surprisingly enough, all the crowds seemed to leave. And, and he went to his disciples and he said, are you going to leave too? And, and Peter said, where can we go? Because you have the words of life. You know, Jesus only said what he heard the Father say. It's the words of life that people need. Pastors, far too often, we preach from our own pain, our own hurt, our own lack, our own inability. I've heard way too many sermons that talk about my sin, not my sin, but, you know, the sin of, of, of the, <laughs> the person preaching and and you know it, you make it sound like mistakes when it, it's really sin and you think you're being cool and you think you're being transparent and and quite frankly don't be transparent transparency sucks uh look on just go to revtrev.com look up transparency sucks you'll get my whole philosophy on on why transparency sucks you need to have the very words of God. You need to have the oracles of God. You need to be speaking the words of life. You need to be speaking the words of truth. You you cannot Jesus Christ didn't come in to condemn the world. You cannot condemn the people who are hearing you speak. Jesus Christ, oh my goodness. Paul said, you know, let nothing come out of your mouth that isn't for the building up of others. You know, if, if that's the sermons we can get, that's the sermons we need. Listen, I don't know if you're a pastor. I don't know if you're doing it. You're, you're, you're going into itinerant ministry. The fact of the matter is you need to be prepared when you prepare the sermon. You need to spend that time in the Word of God. You need to be letting the Word of God read you. It's not just even reading the Word of God. I can read through the Bible in three months. Uh, many times I've read through the Bible four times in a year. But if I'm doing that just to check off the, the list that I'm reading this chapter and these six chapters this, this today just so I can get through that in that time, it, it, it's nothing more than, than an exercise of, of religiosity. Listen, when you open up the Word, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal your heart in that Word. Keep reading until it happens. Because you'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> God will show you. God will teach you. God will reveal it to you. But it, it's not just being prepared by, by knowing the Word of God. It's, it's also knowing the voice of God. You need to take the time to listen to God. You need to take the time to hear what He says. You need to take the time to get the words of life for the people you're speaking to. A simple prayer that I pray every time I speak is, Lord, give me your words for your people. That helps me to remember that it's not my eloquence. It's not what I say. It's not what I do. It's what the Holy Spirit says. It's what the Holy Spirit does. <laughs> and it's amazing. All of us have had the experience when, when someone comes up to us and says, Oh, when you said this and you said this, and, and, and they, they start seeing a sermon that you didn't preach. <laughs> Why is that? It's the Holy Spirit teaching them. It's the Holy Spirit that teaches them anyway. So, so get out of the way. That'll be a whole nother 
topic here that you know good preaching is preaching that gets out of the way but but right now it's it's being prepared how do you prepare whether it's itinerant ministry or whether it's pastoral ministry what do you do you spend the time with god you spend the time in the word of god you spend the time listening to god you get the words of life for yourself that day today every day of the week and when you prepare you say what are the words of life for your people that will revolutionize your preaching that will revolutionize your your the way you prepare that will revolutionize everything yeah i'm not saying be stiff you know it's not being um you know solemn and and thus saith the lord God gave you a personality. Use your personality. But quite frankly, uh, you can love God. You can love people. And uh, that'll take you far in ministry. And that, in fact, that's the basis of all ministry. <laughs> loving God and loving people. Um, but if you do a speaking ministry... Make sure you're speaking the words of life. Make sure you're speaking the words that encourage. Make sure you're speaking the words that the Father has for His people. Anyway, that's my recommendation for you in ministry this week. Keep spreading the gospel wherever you go, however you do it. Keep spreading the kingdom, the kingdom of righteousness and peace and joy. Keep spreading the kingdom. <laughs> It's all about the kingdom. Have a great week. Love to see you on RevTrev.com and love to catch you in the forum too. Take care. I'm Trevor Lund.